So once you think a model is inside Fusion 360, let's take a look at some basic muscle memory tips uh, that I think are very, very, very convenient. First of all, navigation. Uh, navigation in Fusion 360 and Tinker is different. As you can see here, I'm orbiting by, well, you don't see it, by using the right click. And, um, and normally, if you use the right click on Fusion, you will open a marking menu. The way that happened is that under your avatar, your profile, under preferences, you have a set of options that can make things look a little more like what you do in Tinkercad, if that's what you want. So for example, pan, zoom, orbit shortcuts, I set it up to Tinkercad, by default it's Fusion 360, there's other options there, but basically Tinkercad makes it look like what Tinker does. Um, if the zoom in the mouse is, is is reverted, just you can do this. I don't use mouse, so I don't have to do anything there. And uh, the other one that I would normally check, although by default is Z up, is that the direction up is Z. On Mechanical CAD, some, some applications use the up as Y. But if you think about Tinkercad and the way we work in Tinkercad, we think of Z as up. So the same, we're doing the same here in Fusion 360. That is all for the first chunk, which is the preferences. Something else you might, and so I'll apply, I'll hit OK. And we're going to go to the second option, which is uh, selection. When you select something on Tinkercad, you are selecting bodies, right? So, but in here, as you can see, I'm selecting faces or edges or different things. So, um, one thing I, I tend to do is to bring in under select, there's an option here, selection tools, um, sorry, selection priority, select body priority. And uh, I, then I found a way to put it up here, which I'm going to talk about it in a second. But if you say select body priority, and it, it, it's checked now, whenever, whatever you, you, you select are bodies, which makes it look a lot like Tinkercad. It doesn't mean that you cannot access faces or edges. For example, if I started a fillet, fillet knows that it requires edges, so it will already filter into edges or even faces, but it will not go into full bodies. So it's a very simple way to, to stay sort of on top of what you would normally do on Tinkercad. The third thing about muscle memory, which I find so very, very convenient, is customizing the UI. The UI you see here is not exactly what you get on Fusion 360 by default. Um, if you want to have something that looks more like this, what you do is under each of the dropdowns, all of the commands have have a little, if you stay a little bit hovering over the, over, the, over the right, you'll see those three points. So that will allow you to, for example, in this case, pin to toolbar or pin to shortcuts or even change the keyboard shortcut. Let's say right now that I just want to pin to toolbar. As you can see now, the sweep is here. If I want to take it out, two ways. You come back here, you go back to sweep, click and, and and select, or the other one is just you grab it and you take it down. You can also or reorganize things. So, for example, if you want mirror to be before patterns, this is what you do. The reason I've done this on, on Fusion is because I brought back box and cylinder, which are two primitives I used a lot in Tinkercad. Definitely, I have sketch. Uh, extrude uh, and revolve. I don't have the other options. I do have mirror and patterns because those are things that I use a lot. Then I brought move and scale into modify, press pull, fillet. Chamfer is not even here by default, so I had to bring it down from here. I have shell, combine, and split body. I reduced the amount of things in assemble, reduce the amount of things in construct. On inspect, I just want to measure. And on insert, I just want canvas, which it allows me to put a picture on the on the on the on the canvas. And the other one is bringing meshes and of, and of course the select body priorities. Even in this case, if you just want to set it up for always for bodies and you don't think you need the other two, just take them out. And again, the the full UI feels a little less um, messy with so many other options, which if you don't know what they are doing, it, it's also a little bit um, disrupting. Another thing is that if you press S on Fusion, it brings up the design shortcuts. Each of the commands, or not all of the commands, but most of the commands have, have shortcuts. So for example, if you, if you want to make sure that Mirror has an M as a shortcut, 
you go into, you look for mirror here, change keyboard shortcut, and say assign a new shortcut for key like M, which in this case completes remove copy. So you need to define which one do you want as this. You can have a different one, and of course reset to default if you if you just want to have the factory presets. So all of these are the things that are, are going to be super useful. Uh, and one other thing is that under S, you see, for example, extrude, fillet, and revolve. The reason why they are there is because, for example, if I go to revolve, it set pin to shortcuts. If I remove it from here and I go back to S, I have only extrude and fillet. So let's do something. Let's bring, let's make sure that box and cylinder are there. So I'm going to say pin to shortcuts and pin to shortcuts. Now, next time I press S, I have box. I can put it first, cylinder second, extrude and fit it, for example. And I might want to maybe add the shell there because that's another one that I use a lot because that's a great advantage of fusion because you can make a, a, a thin shell that is uniform in size on non-uniform non objects. So yeah, so now I press S and I have everything I need here and I don't even have to even think about the UI at all. So those are small things that can increase your quality of life a lot when getting into fusion.